So it's actually quite easy to do an ultrasound examination in the ED to determine if a patient has deep vein thrombosis, and this is a well-established practice of ultrasound. We're going to do a modified version of that for the ED exam, though. To set up for this examination, you want to tilt uh, the gurney so that you're in a reverse Trendelenburg, so this encourages venous distension in the leg, so it's easier to visualize the veins with ultrasound. We're going to use a linear transducer for this examination, and the views that we do for this exam will just be in a transverse orientation only. So when you're setting up for th this examination, make sure the orientation marker, again, is to the right. For this examination technique, we're going to use a compression technique where we just slightly compress the vein with some downward motion. When you set up the exam on the system, just select the exam key, then from your menu, select the venous exam type and hit select. When you do this, you're optimizing the system so it's automatically configured for your best resolution of the veins. We're going to use a little bit of ultrasound gel and we're going to assess two areas, the femoral area and the popliteal area. I'm going to start with the femoral area. We're going to place the ultrasound transducer at the inguinal crease in a transverse view. When I do this, immediately below the transducer in the ultrasound image, I'm going to see two anechoic structures. The one that's going to be more medial is the common femoral vein. The one that's more lateral is the common femoral artery. The way I can landmark this is by looking for the junction with the saphenous vein or the long saphenous vein, and we see this emptying into the anterior aspect of the common femoral vein, and in this image we actually see the venous valves separating the long saphenous and common femoral veins. So at this point, what I do is I just use my compression technique. So I just push with the transducer down until I see both walls of the vein coapt or touch and meet each other. If I get a complete co-op like this, I know there's nothing between those two walls. So there's no venous thrombosis in the vein. So again, just compress down until you see those two walls meet completely. You'll see that the artery does not compress and is pulsatile beside the vein. Now that you've identified your landmarks, you want to do a thorough evaluation of that area. So again, placing the transducer at the inguinal crease, we're going to compress the area of the common femoral vein. We want to move a few centimeters proximal to this, so superiorly on the body, and we'll start a compression technique, making sure that those walls collapse completely, and we just work through this area, compressing every centimeter. We see our common femoral vein and saph fem junction here, and we can continue compressing just a few centimeters below this. On the ultrasound, we've seen the division to superficial femoral artery and profunda artery, just lateral to the vein. And then we should see the vein divide to femoral vein and profunda vein. Again, compressing all the way down until you see this junction. From here, I'm going to move down to the popliteal region. Just move the system down towards the knee, and we're going to actually go behind the knee, putting the transducer into the popliteal fossa. Once you've identified the popliteal artery and vein, mid-popliteal fossa level, you want to evaluate above and below this area to make sure you've evaluated all those areas for deep vein thrombosis. So we're going to start mid-level and just work our way superiorly in the leg the superior aspect of the popliteal fossa, compressing all the way. We go up a few centimeters, and then we start to move down the leg, compressing into the inferior aspect of the popliteal fossa. Again, making sure that those vein walls actually touch and meet each other, so we know that there's no deep vein thrombosis that's fresh, which would be hypocoic, it would be difficult to see if we did not do this compression technique. Those are the two steps for assessing the leg for deep vein thrombosis. It's just these two evaluation points, but just make sure that you evaluate each area thoroughly and you do your compression technique completely.